Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 28th of September and this week's challenge is Farmlands. We've got uh, Merle as our star hero. Shooters are starting charged and uh, because it's uh, the 7th anniversary celebrations of the game we also have warriors doing 50% more damage. Um, that actually works quite well together uh, with Merle's leader trait and uh, the boost to uh, warriors damage anyway. So that should be quite fun. A couple of horrible maps as always, uh, one in particular, but we'll get to that later. Uh, first off, let's have a look at the weekend events, which are free badge swaps all weekend. So you can uh, mix and match your badges as much as you want. Uh, you could even put some good ones on Merle for uh, the weekend, as long as you remember to take them off on Monday morning. Um, but yeah, so instead of costing uh, gold to remove, they are now free. We also have six unlocks an hour um, for the after mission crates instead of the usual four per hour. So a little bit of a boost to um, the rewards you can get. So that's not too bad. Um, let's get on with the maps now. And the first one is Vermin Control. Um, so it's a killer walkers, which are always nice. You start off in this corner here. There's a goo, couple of tanks. Um, and it's not too bad unless you use get surrounded so if you have stuff coming along the bottom as well as around the top you get a bit dicey then but um your usual killer walker team mercer and yumiko with the star hero should get you through without too many issues um as long as the goo doesn't get close enough to blow you up um so straightforward on that one the next map is porch swimming uh this is a get to exit um start over here on the right go get to the top left uh, there's a tank and quite a few walkers. Can't see many here, but they are there. You've got an incoming, and after the first turn, another tank will spawn from the exit line. With this map, uh, the incomings can be a problem if you're using range. They spawn up in that corner where the box is, and uh, if you're stood where Mercer is, you can't see around that corner, so they can come around and get you quite easily. And they also spawn where the X's are at the bottom left. Um, so you want to either keep the threat down, uh, which looks like what I was doing here, and um, make your way across. You can also just charge it, possibly with Zeke and a bruiser with a riot shield. Um, or if you're really struggling, then Zeke leading a war uh, an assault with uh, the Rosita's assault rifle will probably get you through as well. Uh, just run as far to the left as you can each time and let uh, Zeke and uh, your assault interrupt everything. Uh, but quite a fun map. I've always really enjoyed that one. So hopefully I will this time as well. Um, anyway, the next map is Hammer and Saw. Um, this is one of the trickier maps on the set. Uh, you start in this little corner and you've got a tank uh, to the top right and... You've got to open three boxes and get to the exit on the right hand side. Um, that top left box is a bit of a pain to get to. Um, but the good news is the spawn only comes out along the very bottom and to the top right. So you can, once you've killed the original walkers in this first section, uh, you can control the spawn quite nicely um, and creep your way around. Is still a pain in the backside at Nightmare. Um, when you have one turn incomings and large spawns um, it takes a while, very much a crowd control map um, when you get to the end of the challenge uh, there is one tip on it though um, and that is that when you open the last box um, a goo will spawn on the line so if you stand your survivors like this before opening the last box then it will spawn block it and you won't have to deal with that um, that's pretty much it for this map um, let's uh, move on to the next one which is Overgrown uh, this one you need to open a gate and get to the exit it's pretty much a get to exit map um, it starts with quite a few walkers on it and a goo just behind this tractor here uh, you've got an incoming which come in at the top and bottom and uh, an auto spawn when you do work on the gate we'll get to that bit in a minute a uh, good tactic for this, again, is keeping the threat down. Um, so Michonne might be useful with Huntsman Daryl, now they've fixed him. Um, 
to keep that threat down and uh, keep the goo away, uh, possibly leaving Michonne in Overwatch or trusting Primed. Um, then once you get to the left hand side and you've dealt with the most of the spawn, then you want to stand in this position where the two red X's are if uh if you can. Um and that is because when the as soon as you start working on the gate, a goo will spawn from the tractor. And if you stood like this, it'll walk up diagonally towards you. Um and then next turn uh you're guaranteed for it not to be able to reach you. So um, it's always a good idea to stand there. Um, the next turn after you've started working on the gate, though, you do get an auto spawn of two walkers from the haystack. So it ends up looking a bit like this. So make sure you can either stun or kill or two, uh, those two that spawn. Then you're guaranteed to get out uh, next time. So uh, that's not too bad an ending to that map, but getting to that point can be a bit tricky, uh, particularly with large incomings in Nightmare. Uh, so the next map is Needles and Haystacks, and is my personal favourite of the map. Uh, it is, can be quite tricky, but um, the main thing to remember is that you start on the left-hand side, you've got to open three crates and get back to the left-hand side. And as crazy as it sounds, what you want to do is you want to make sure you open the far right crate first. Um, it may seem counterintuitive. You may think, oh, I want to open the ones nearest to me quickly. But the reason for that is that once you've got the correct free gate boxes, crates, um, you will trigger an auto spawn on the line, but they'll also auto spawn from the back of the map as well. So if you open the last one um, on the right-hand side, you're dealing with your auto spawn from right next to you, plus you're going to have to make your way all the way back to the line, dealing with auto spawns as you go. Um, the, there is an incoming, and um, I believe the X's on you can see here are spawn blocks. Maybe one more above and to the right of them. Um, but I think it's just those that you want to be able to spawn block. I find the one at the bottom the most useful, standing my three people in a line, two on that, um, two on the X's and one above, um, and that seems to do the trick. Uh, getting around the corner to the right is a bit tricky sometimes because it's a blind corner, you can't see what's around there. Um, just take it slow um, and you should be okay. If you can keep the threat down, it makes it a walk in the park, so Huntsman Daryl, uh, is a good one for that, um, or Michonne. And you also want Pizza Glen because you're opening boxes. If you can time it so the last box you open is the one on the top left, then that makes it super easy. Um, but again, um, you don't always get a choice in that. Um, so that's that one. And the next one is Straw Men. Um, and I'm leaving the worst till last this week. Um, by far the hardest map on the set. You've got two tanks to kill. Uh, you've also got an incoming and you start off surrounded, often within range of several walkers um, from at least two directions. And it's not very nice. Um, you can't see the two tanks on this, but there's normally one straight in front of you and one to the right hand side. Early on, it's not too bad because all you have to do is kill the two tanks. As soon as they're killed, the map ends. As it gets further on um, and the walkers start to get harder to kill, it becomes a bit more difficult. There's two ways of playing it, usually. Um, you either run left or you run right. With melee, I like to go left. With ranged, I tend to go right. And here on the left, uh, there's a hard corner where uh, Zeke is. Um, what that means is you can use it to your advantage uh, because anything that is on the map and is aggressive and is above the light uh, in the same line as beta will walk up and right. So if you can get those tanks on fire whilst they're still above that line and stand like this, they will not come towards you and they'll just wander off until they burn out. Doing so is quite difficult. Um... Incomings come in along the bottom, uh, bottom left and bottom right. Uh, if Zeke was down one and to the left, 
that would spawn block anything coming in on the left hand side. On the right hand side you want to be stood in a L shape with two people on the right at the back of the wall and one person uh, in front of them. Um, going right with range you can build a nice stun wall behind the fence but still see quite a lot of the map to set stuff on fire, particularly the tanks. Um, I'll do a couple of ways, both left and right, melee and uh, range. But I'm honestly not a big fan of this map, so I'm not going to be redoing it too many times unless I find a really good system. Well, that's it for this week. I um, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have, please like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.